Well, we're now on the final set, and this is the one I've really been looking forward to. This is Sonic's Green Hill Zone Loop Challenge, set number 76994 for 8+. Plus. So you'll see on the front there's lots of things going on, and it uh, looks, looks like there's loads to actually build here. And on the back, again, a uh, little bit more information. It looks very much like a, the sort of Green Hill, the Lego's idea one with all the various ramps and loops and everything else but in much much bigger scale so uh, you can see it's got the slammer device as well so yeah let's uh, get opening and have a look shall we so if, uh, open the box oh. we have got a massive instructions booklet there we've got at least six bags one two three four seven bags we've actually got well we've got seven bags and some uh, ramps and things like that so uh, right well let's get building so I've uh, finished the first packet and this is uh, another one of these slammers I'm getting uh, quite good at building these things it's the third one of these I've uh, built from this series of uh, Sonic Lego sets uh, we have the main man himself you'll see this is similar to the one from the tail set so he's uh, winking let's put him in the sphere oops can get him in properly uh, load him up and we've got three rings for him to collect as well so there we go so that's uh, packet one. Let's go to packet two. So packet two is complete and it's the loop plus Amy. So uh, we've got exactly the same Amy minifigure as the Amy's Animal Island Rescue set. Uh, the only difference here is she's got a different hammer. Um, but the important thing is we have a loop and this is uh, really nicely made actually. I like it. And of course I can't resist giving it a go. So uh, let's try it out. Uh. Fab. Works brilliant. Okay, packet number three. So here's the next part. You've got this uh, really nice sort of, I guess, picnic-y area beach scene with uh, brilliant barbecue. I really like how that's been made. And you've got the, the fork there as well, which uh, works. And lid goes up and down you've obviously got the burger the soda mustard dispenser as I keep saying I really like the flowers and you've got this thing here which I think is a pedalo from looking at the picture on the main box itself and a connecting ramp now because of these uh, joins here uh, these connect to the main body of the loop so which presumably means you get all your angles sorted out correctly uh, you get a jet ski as well for Amy or whoever and you get a couple of uh, the little critters as well so you get this uh, little black bird and you get the blue rabbit as well so uh, yeah that's starting to take shape nicely now on to the next packet so the next part is the loop and uh, this connects to the ramp like so that's part of the loop challenge and then you get this quite cool robot as well so uh, this is obviously where it captures some of the critters and you sort of put them in like that and uh, I'm imagining I'm going to be building some bits and pieces on on there potentially although actually it hasn't got it on the picture on the packet so maybe that's it so uh, that's the next part so uh, we're now on to part five, which is uh, Dr. Eggman. So here we have the next instalment. And uh, this time we've made uh, Dr. Eggman's sort of aircraft. So uh, this is really good, actually. There's lots of things going on. Firstly, you get obviously a minifigure, which is brilliant. Uh, you've got his grappling claw. You've got a spinning saw. And something I've not seen before, and this is the uh, firing bullets here for his gun, which he just push that down and lose another piece somewhere in the house 
so uh, yeah this is quite good i like the fact also it's got this stand so presumably we could actually sort of put it somewhere actually on the uh sonic loop challenge run and uh maybe knock it over oops a bit like that so uh yeah hey let's uh get on to the next part so here we've made uh, a bridge so it's uh quite nice actually it's obviously allows you to flip it uh you'll see in the photo that there's a shark there as well so uh, i'm assuming i'm going to be building that next um I'm not quite sure how it works because of course clearly if the sphere is rolling over that it's not going to move so maybe I don't know you just have to manually push it but yeah very solid construction not really much more to talk about so the final part's been finished now and sure enough we have uh, the shark that I mentioned so you'll see it's got one of the little critters in as well the blue bird and I like how they've actually built the compartments to actually put these uh, uh, animals in which is quite fun uh, we'll put him onto his display stand so he's all done and uh, the chameleon well firstly uh, let's have a look he's got this uh, dog so a little puppy uh, and the chameleon himself uh, he's actually really good actually I like his googly eyes and you'll see he's on this tree mechanism that when I push the button here falls over and then the animal gets released the only uh, downside of this all of the construction has been really good so far but this particular one the actual uh, mechanism was just too low so I had to uh, uh, put an extra piece in just to stop it looking too sort of uh, leany but uh, anyway it's, uh, it's probably about the best I can do but still really nice feature I think that one so that's all of the pieces put together I've managed to knock the shark off let's have a look at it all set up so here we have it all spread out and I think it's fed so it's quite impressive actually it does take up quite a large area but uh, let's uh, see how it works shall we when we slam Sonic I suspect I'll have to have a couple of shots of this and uh, bits are going to go flying all over the place so uh, let's give it a shot all right here we go Well, I got Robotnik. It didn't go through the loop, though, so uh, we'll give it another shot. Hooray! Actually worked. So, got it through the loop. Uh, didn't quite manage to sort of smash into the robot and knock him over at the end, but uh, uh, maybe if I put a little bit more power. The main thing is, it worked. And uh, I think it's great fun. I actually quite like this one I certainly enjoyed building it and I liked all the little sort of extra details that were in there and the fact that actually you've got other sort of movable bits like the bridge and the tree I think are really quite fun I especially like uh, Dr Eggman's uh, plane I think that's uh, really good and uh, even the loop the loop is uh, very good and how they've sort of made it very sagerish with the alternative uh, light and dark brown bricks I think is fantastic and uh, obviously it's a theme that they've used throughout so uh, yeah that's uh, the final set uh, I'll do one final video with some sort of reflections just showing everything together so you can see what it's like all on display but I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, if so please do like and share and uh, if you want to see more videos then subscribe to this channel and I hope you enjoy thank you for watching